Welcome to Grandpa's Underworld, and today we're going to talk about a Muhammad Bey Shi, Persian man who raped and killed at least 44 boys and two adults between 1999 and 2004. He was born in 1983 to a very crowded family. His mother had cancer and died when he was four years old. He said he couldn't remember his mother. Almost as soon as she died, his father, who was a merchant, remarried. He claimed his father beat him and chained his legs when he was small. He was not loved. His dad made him start working all the time, so he had to quit school. Family moved to Katnabad. When he was 11, he was forced to work at a furnace where he was raped a lot, which made him mad and he wanted revenge on the whole town. With the suffering he had, he had endured, he said that he had to rape and kill others. He was not mad. He was mad. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the boys that was raped and killed were under 18 years of age, but no younger than eight. Tehran said that this was the biggest criminal case in 71 years. When he was arrested in 2004, he told them that if he was ever released, he would kill at least 100 more kids. So he was sentenced to be executed. In March 2005, there was a crowd of 5,000 people who watched as the executioner removed his shirt and handcuffed him to a post. Then he received lashings from many different officials. He never made a sound, but he did repeatedly fall to the ground only to get up. One of the crowd's people was able to get through and get a stab in. The mother of a victim put a long nylon rope around his throat. There was a crane that pulled him off the ground and he stayed there until he was pronounced dead. That's it for Grandpa's Underworld today. We'll see you later. Have a good day.